Hello. So today we'll study about transforming principle. So in 1928, Frederick Griffith he gave the transforming principle. So he did an experiment with streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae. So this is a bacteria that's responsible for pneumonia. So he observed transformation in the bacteria. So he did an experiment on uh, this streptococcus pneumoniae so during the course of his experiment a living organism bacteria had changed its physical form so what what he did he grew some he grew this bacteria streptococcus pneumoniae on a culture plate let's say this is the bacteria okay and he grew it on a culture plate So now this is streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria. So what he observed that some bacteria produced smooth shiny colonies. Colonies means like a, a, gru a, num a group of bacteria or number of bacteria together and some were rough so some produced rough colonies so now why this is smooth because it has mucus polysaccharide coat mucus polysaccharide coat but this R it doesn't has this mucus polysaccharide coat so mice so what it did mice infected with a strain virulent they die from pneumonia infection but mice infected with R strain they do not develop pneumonia so now what we what he did let's say he did an experiment on mice so these S strain bacteria and R strain bacteria he injected it into mice now what he observed one minute now S strain bacteria he injected it into mice So the mice died whereas in R strain bacteria this R strain was injected into mice right so here mice lived so in S strain you remember there was a mucopolysaccharide coat right so now Griff, no, what Griffith did, Griffith, one sec, Griffith just killed this uh, strain bacteria. So Griffith was able to kill bacteria by heating them. So now strain, he heated this bacteria, right? This is the sign for heat. So he heated this bacteria and he killed the bacteria now what he did he injected this heat killed S strain bacteria into mice now what happens mice lived so now after uh, after 
injecting only heat killed bacteria now he, uh, he injected this heat strain bacteria along with R strain now same he injected it into mice now what happened mice died so see if I look this here are uh, here R strain is there in this R strain mice died and in the previous one this was our first experiment this was second so in first that was the original experiment R strain mice lived right but in combination with heat killed S strain bacteria this is heat killed mice died right so now why this difference is there because so uh, he he uh, he made an assumption or he concluded that R strain bacteria maybe uh, had transformed this R strain bacteria maybe had transformed so why uh, why this R strain bacteria is transformed maybe because of heat killed S strain bacteria so some maybe some transforming principle uh, will be there that transferred from heat killed S strain bacteria so some something has happened right from this S strain bacteria to R strain something has transferred from this heat killed S strain bacteria to R strain so he observed that uh, uh, that this uh, transformation principle is there so some transforming principle uh, is transferred from heat kill S strain had enabled the R strain to synthesize a smooth polysaccharide coat so after transformation maybe this R strain had developed a smooth polysaccharide coat because S strain they already had smooth polysaccharide coat and after transformation maybe this R strain also they had developed smooth polysaccharide coat so this is how they can be transformed so now due to this coat it may have become virulent virulent means uh, it uh, mice can die because it's infectious okay now so this must be due to the transfer of the genetic material so this is how it was about Griffith experiment so he concluded that something might has transfer transfer of genetic material so it was given by Frederick Griffith okay and so there are some biochemical characterization of transformation principle so now there is uh, some scientist name Oswald Avery Colin MacLeod and Macklin McCarty 1933-44 so the genetic material was thought to be a protein so prior to the work of Oswald Avery, Colin and Maclean, the genetic material was thought to be a protein so they worked to determine the biochemical nature of transforming principle in Griffith's experiment so what they did they purified biochemicals they purified biochemicals, biochemicals like proteins, DNA, RNA from heat killed S cells. Heat killed S cells to see which ones could transform live R cells into S cells. So what they discovered that DNA alone from S bacteria caused R bacteria to become transformed because in the last experiment in second one after heat killing S bacteria what he saw and what he saw that maybe DNA from this S bacteria has transformed 
this R bacteria. So they also discovered that protein digesting enzymes proteases and RNA digesting enzyme RNAs did not affect transformation. So transforming substance was not a protein or RNA. So digestion with DNAs did inhibit transformation. So it suggests that DNA caused the transformation, not any protease, not any RNAs. So DNA is a hereditary material that caused the transformation. Okay, thank you.